Can exoplanets have their own moons? Exoplanets are one of the most exciting fields in astronomy today. By studying exoplanets, scientists can gain insights into the diversity of planetary systems and the likelihood of finding other planets that could possibly harbor life. According to NASA, astronomers have, as of February 2022, discovered almost 5,000 exoplanets, ranging from Earth-sized rocky bodies to giant gas behemoths more than 10 times the size of Jupiter. Spectacularly, some of these exoplanets are nothing like the planets we see in our own solar system, showing us how diverse and incredible the planets of the cosmos are. But there is something even more exciting than exoplanets. Exomoons. Exomoons are moons that orbit around exoplanets. But what would they look like? Could these exomoons be habitable too? In this video, we will talk about all of that and more. Exoplanet research is exciting because it has the potential to uncover new information about the formation, evolution, and potential habitability of planets beyond our solar system. Additionally, exoplanet research has already led to numerous discoveries of unexpected and fascinating planetary systems and continues to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. The idea of finding exomoons has been around for a while, but scientists have only recently witnessed success in finding these worlds. Since the 1990s, when the first exoplanet was discovered, thousands of exoplanets have been observed through dependable, indirect methods. Two of the most famous instruments used for this are the Kepler Space Telescope and TRAPPIST. Although exoplanets can be effectively detected by indirect methods, observing their moons, known as exomoons, is much more difficult. Exomoons are smaller and only reflect light from their star, making direct observation and confirmation challenging. Astronomers and astrophysicists have proposed several techniques to enhance the detection of exomoons. These detection techniques include transit timing variations, direct imaging, and transit spectra signatures, among others. Nevertheless, the verification of exomoons remains a challenging task, necessitating the development of additional detection methods. The solar system boasts a multitude of moons, including Earth's moon, Phobos of Mars and Deimos, and Jupiter's extensive collection, among others. It follows logically that exoplanets would also possess moons of their own. As early as 2007, scientists have been exploring methods to detect exomoons, just a decade after the discovery of the first exoplanet in the mid-1990s. Despite the current limitations of technology, the pursuit of discovering exomoons is one of great significance as they offer valuable insight into a solar system's history and a planet's present state. Moons, after all, are more than mere miniature planets. Our solar system serves as a testament to the potential significance of moons, as evidenced by the subsurface oceans on Europa and Enceladus. The prospect of discovering extraterrestrial life on moons is intriguing, and with the advent of advanced instruments like TESS and the recently launched James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, the likelihood of discovering exomoons continues to improve. If you have been a fan of the sci-fi Netflix series The 100, you might remember the characters landing on an exomoon, which was habitable for humans. So now that we have talked about the importance of exomoons, let's talk about how they can be discovered. Exoplanets can be detected through a variety of methods, most of which are centered around detecting the faint planetary signatures against the bright stars they orbit. One such signature is the planetary transit, a momentary reduction in the light from a star caused by a blocking exoplanet. Like most exoplanets, exomoons are too minute to be viewed directly. However, the impact of exomoons on a planet's transit can be detected through the effects of gravity. The orbit of a planet is a constant interplay of gravitational forces. When only two players are involved, such as the Earth and the Sun, the interaction is straightforward, resulting in a predictable and repetitive orbit. However, the introduction of a third player, such as the Moon, introduces an element of complexity to the dynamic. Despite its relatively small size, the Moon exerts a gravitational influence on the Earth, causing it to deviate slightly from its regular orbit. 
one possible method of detecting exomoons is through observing transit timing variations TTVs, which are alterations in the timing of a planetary transit. These variations could be indicative of a moon's gravitational influence on the exoplanet, causing a deviation in its orbit. Other innovative approaches have also been proposed for identifying exomoons, such as searching for gaseous emissions from volcanic moons, similar to Jupiter's Io, or focusing on rogue planets, which are not bound to a star, thus simplifying the gravitational interaction. The raw data obtained from telescopes is not sufficient for the detection of exomoons. Scientists have to apply established methods and utilize their knowledge to process the data and obtain meaningful results. To ensure the detection of an exomoon is accurate, meticulous data analysis is necessary. This is a challenging task, especially due to the small size and remote location of exomoons. The challenge of discovering exomoons has been a significant hindrance to their detection, despite the initial suggestion of their presence in 2009. It wasn't until 2018 that the first evidence of an exomoon was discovered using transit timing variations TTVs. But this finding was met with much debate and scrutiny among the scientific community. While subsequent research has pointed to the possible presence of additional exomoons, none have been definitively confirmed, highlighting the ongoing difficulties associated with their detection. Another important tool for searching for exomoons is the hunt for exomoons with Kepler HEK. Scientists use a method called transit timing variation to search for potential exomoons by examining the minuscule fluctuations in the transit time of the exoplanet across its parent star. This data is collected from the Kepler mission, where they look for slight decreases in the brightness of the starlight caused by the exoplanet and its potential exomoon. The study employs a statistical approach known as the Bayesian Framework, which assesses potential candidates through comparison with both planet-only and planet-with-moon models. This approach takes into account the possibility that variations in transit time may be caused by other exoplanets in the same star system, not just exomoons. The hunt for exomoons with Kepler HEK also employs a method known as radial velocity RV, variations. This technique involves analyzing the wavelength of light emitted by the host star. Variations in wavelength can be attributed to the exoplanet. However, it is possible that exomoons may cause subtle changes. The RV method has the capacity to determine the size and mass of the planet-moon system, and the intensity of the light wave can be used to eliminate false positives. The AGK project first saw the light of day with the publication of its first paper in 2012 which was followed by four more articles that delved deeper into the matter. In their fifth publication, released in 2017, the project team presented evidence of an exomoon candidate orbiting an exoplanet in the Kepler-1625 star system. The article also mentions the possibility of a set of super IOs. Despite this, the project group remained uncertain of its significance and refrained from making any conclusive remarks. In 2022, David Kipping, a renowned American astronomer and lead researcher of the HEK project, conducted an analysis of the Kepler data. He reviewed a survey of 70 gas giant exoplanets and identified one exoplanet, Kepler 1708b, as a potential exomoon host. It is noteworthy that both the exomoon candidates detected in Kepler 1625b and Kepler 1780b have remarkably large masses similar to that of Neptune. David Kipping and his team persisted in their examination of the Kepler data, focusing on transit timing variations. After a comprehensive analysis, statistical evaluations, and assessments of reliability, the team announced in November of 2022 that exoplanet Kepler 1513b may harbor an exomoon. However, they noted a discrepancy between the predicted exomoon mass based on planetary models and the one derived from the TTVs, warranting further investigation. In addition to the HEK project, other endeavors aimed at exploring exomoons are underway. One study aims to shed light on the mystery of why some exoplanets exhibit the presence of sodium and potassium gas in their atmospheric spectra. In the pursuit of discovering exomoons, 
Astronomers have also turned their attention to isolated planetary mass objects IPMOs, located far from stars. These IPMOs offer a unique opportunity for the detection of exomoons via their transits across the IPMOs. Observing these objects in infrared reveals that they emit sufficient brightness, with 57 IPMOs already identified. With the deployment of the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers anticipate the detection of Ganymede or Titan-sized exomoons through their transitions in 37 of these IPMOs. The detection and study of exomoons pose significant challenges and require multiple tests to accurately determine their presence and fundamental properties such as mass and radius. The need for further advancements in detection methods remains critical. With the advent of current missions such as the James Webb Space Telescope and future missions that will provide more precise data, it is anticipated that confirmed sightings of exomoons will soon be achieved. The study of exomoons holds the potential to expand our understanding of the formation and evolution of star systems and planets, as well as shed light on the origin of our own moon. This research could provide valuable insights into the evolution of celestial bodies and their ultimate fate. Just as the first found exoplanets surprised us, so have the first discovered exomoons, demonstrating that there is a universe beyond the circle surrounding our Sun and opening the door to future exploration. It can only be a matter of time until we discover a forest moon, ideally with evidence of Ewok civilization. So what do you think about the discovery of exomoons? How will it change our understanding of the universe? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and share the video with your friends.